of the people blind. We gonna vote them buggers out and elect Michael Pine. Hey, let's go. It's time for Michael Pine. It's time for Michael Pine. It's time for Michael Pine. It's time, it's time. You know, you know. It's time for Michael Pine. It's time for Michael Pine. It's time for Michael Pine. It's time, it's time, it's time. Let's go. Jump up. Come. Oh, celebrate with Frederick Michael Pine. Join the Mac Pack. Join Frederick A. Michael Pine. Let's go. We love and trust the voice of Frederick Michael Pine. He tells it like it is. He always speaks his mind. Too long we've been held down. Too long been in a bind. And who will lose our shackles? Frederick Michael Pine. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. It's time for Michael Pine. This time for Michael Pine. It's time for Michael Pine. It's time, it's time. A man about action to help raise satisfaction. A man with direction who believes in perfection. And that man for this time is Frederick Michael Pine. Yes, you hear me? You hear me? Come on. It's time for Michael Pine. This time for Michael Pine. It's time for Michael Pine. It's time. It's time. It's time. Come on. It's time for Michael Pine. This time for Michael Pine. It's time for Michael Pine. It's time. It's time. Yes, yes. It's time for Michael Pine. This time for Michael Pine. It's time. Mr. Party Leader, the Honorable Dr. Hubert Menes and Mrs. Menes, Deputy Leader, the Honorable Peter Tranquest, Mrs. Tranquest, National Chairman, Mr. Sidney Cawley, election candidates, local and national, welcome, former parliamentarians, my wife, Tracy Monique, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, my fellow Bahamians, good night. Let me first of all take this opportunity once again to thank the leader of the Free National Movement, the Honorable Dr. Hubert A. Menes. Thank you, sir. Also members of the National Executive Council, the General Council and the executives of Pine Ridge Association for the confidence that they've reposed in me to be the standard bearer for our party in the Pine Ridge constituency. I wish to thank the constituents of Pine Ridge whose home I've already visited, who've welcomed the Mac Pack and myself with open arms. I'm forever grateful. Hawksville, tomorrow God spares life. I'm coming home and I'm bringing the Mac Pack with me. It would be remiss of me if I didn't acknowledge those who paved the way for me and did so with such honorability and distinction. The Honorables C.A. Smith and Quasi Thompson. Thank you, gentlemen. My prayer is that God bless the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, its people, natural resources, and indeed the people of Pine Ridge. For those of you who don't know me or may not know me, my name is Frederick A. McElpine. I am a Christian, Bahamian, and an FNM in that order. Now, when I say I am a Christian, Bahamian, and FNM in that order, I'm saying the following, God first, country second, party third. God brought me, Bahamas landed me, party accepted me. God, God my stewardship, Bahamas my citizenship, party my membership. Let's introspect and reminisce simultaneously. Approximately five years ago, Pine Ridge found itself in the political emergency room. You went there because you were disenchanted, disgusted, and disappointed with the then FNM at the time. The only, the only 
on-duty physician at the time was none other than Dr. Michael Davo. He promised that he would be able to relieve you of your pain and assured you that under his care you would recover. He told you that your condition was terminal and that he alone would be able to prescribe the right medication. Being that you were in a political painful state, you settled by... You, he, he begged you and guaranteed that he would make you better as a constituency. The prognosis under this doctor's care was made. Pine Ridge, however, you found yourself five years later worse than when first diagnosed. Pine Ridge condition has exacerbated. Your vital signs reads as follows. Economy, low. Unemployment, high. Tourism, in critical condition. Hotel, close. A ship cruise, visitation has ceased. Crime, unstable. Mortgage, no relief. Electric bill appears untreatable. Your neighborhoods are deteriorating right before our very eyes. Recovery from Hurricane Matthew is dismal, to say the least. It was the doctor's claim that he would be able to deal with your situation and bring solace or comfort to your dilemma. Heinrich, a good patient, showing up with your plight so that you could be attended to by the practicing political physician who now has you stopped by police officers when you show up for treatment. However, when you went to attend the political clinic out there on the mall, this doctor has been missing in action and making you wait and still not seeing you. He even changed his number immediately after you retained him. If a doctor is ducking you when you show up always too busy to see you, changing his numbers on a regular basis, ignoring you on the streets when he sees you, Pine Ridge, you can't want that kind of man to represent you any longer. Pine Ridge, the only time you could see this doctor is on television or in the newspaper, diagnosing everybody else's state of affairs except Pine Ridge, who placed him there in the first place. Pine Ridge, on the advice of yours truly, Frederick McElpine, with the legal representation of Quasi Thompson, we will sue the doctor for political malpractice come election day. As a matter of fact, rumors had it that he was trying to tend to another patient known as East Grand Bahama. But they said they'll have no such thing. He said, if you did Pine Ridge like that, after all, what Pine Ridge did for you, no thanks. Tell the doctor, stay where he's at and take his medicine like a man. It's obvious to me and most that this doctor whose primary care is Pine Ridge has given up on his patients. Pine Ridge, you started out in the emergency room under the care of Dr. Darvo. Five years later, you now find yourself in the intensive care unit hooked up to life support due to this doctor's negligence. Members of the family are crying for you. Having seen the regression of Pine Ridge, now they're convinced that this doctor's prescription was nothing more than mere political bush medicine. To put it quite bluntly, Dr. Ducking Darvel has left you to die, politically, socially, educationally, and economically. Ducking Darvel has told the family and his colleague that there's nothing else he can do to assist you. Pine Ridge, if not in word, certainly in his actions. Ladies and gentlemen, when your condition is so bad that the doctor has given up on you, they'll tell you, call the priest or the pastor, it's in God's hands now. The FNM sought a preacher's preacher one who believe in mending broken hearts, setting the captive free, opening blind eyes, and bringing deliverance to those who are bound. I'm the preacher that showed up to the political hospital. When I got there, everybody was crying, 
and hollering, talking about the ill treatment they received from this doctor. Well, tell the doctor, like they often say, it's in God's hands now, and I'm God's man. And Pine Ridge, I've got one question to ask you. Are you ready for a miracle? I'm here to speak for you, speak to you, and speak with you. Pine Ridge, as they say in my neck of the woods, I declare and decree, rise and be healed in the name of Jesus. The doctor gave up on you, and now he's upset because Pine Ridge is saying his services are no longer needed. Knowing what Pine Ridge is saying, he went to their ratification meeting the other night and told the world via the internet, the Bahamas and Pine Ridge, he's coming to get me. Why are you coming to get me when Pine Ridge is presently in your care? It's crystal clear you don't care. You're the MP, but you're coming to get me. Well, let me ask you, because what you should have been doing in Pine Ridge, instead of coming to get me, why didn't you get them jobs you promised? Clean the neighborhoods like you promised. Fix the roads in Hudson Estate like you promised. Provide the roads, provide the park in Hudson Estate like you promised. Provide the playground and heritage like you promised. Fix the road in Freeport Ridge like you promised. Assist the people in Hawksville like you promised. Where's the provision you promised the people in back of town? Or the insurance you promised the people in Queens Cove? You played with the ghetto, now they gonna play you. By the way, Dr. Davil, where is the benevolent fund you promised for the needy? But that's the problem. Not the needy. They say you're too damn greedy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my time is up and my time is gone. But before I leave this podium, I need you to know something. From the day Pine Ridge elected this doctor, he's been like Jerry Roker. You can't find him in this part of town. Hence, he's earned the name Ducking Davo. Don't stop ducking now, my brother. Since the preacher reach, keep on ducking. Pine Ridge told me to tell you, you ducked them for five years. So don't bother coming to their houses because now they're ducking you. So, 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 on behalf of Pine Ridge and myself, we dedicate this song to you because it's been the mantra of your last five years in office. Pine Ridge needs reference, you're ducking. Pine Ridge needs job, you're ducking. Pine Ridge needs help, you're ducking. Pine Ridge need representation, you're ducking. Pine Ridge need you to speak up, you're ducking. Pine Ridge need your advice, you're ducking. Pine Ridge need justice, you're ducking. Pine Ridge needs purposes fulfilled, you ducking. You are a ducking member of parliament, Michael Davil. We're tired of you ducking us. You deserve a duck for ducking come election day. So, I was wondering if you folks on stage, mainly from Greenwich, would help me look for this ducking MP because he's always ducking somebody. Always ducking against somebody. So let's see if you can help me look for this ducking. Always ducking MP. Three, two, one, look. Pine Ridge, take the money. We owe you that and more. Come election day, duck, ducking devil. And remember, this time, Michael Pine. Shake some people's hands and tell them, this time, Michael Pine. It's time for Michael Pine. Let's go. It's time.
God bless you, Pine Ridge. God bless the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. It's time, it's time, it's time. It's time for Bahamas.